Yo, what is up? It's Mendu. Um, I got a keyboard review for the Ampro 2, a very popular 6% keyboard on the market right now. Um, called the Ducky Killer or like the Ducky Competitor. But uh, as most of my viewers are familiar with my Ducky 1 2 Mini with the blue switches. Let me see if I can. Right here. Uh, this is my Ducky. Uh, the webcam angle is kind of weird, but this is the Ducky and this is the Am Pro, and I will be talking about this keyboard right here today, which is um, something new to my channel because I've actually never owned a brown switch keyboard, as a lot of you guys were requesting a brown switch ASMR video. So, um, time for this to get put away for now, but yeah. So, onto the Am Pro. The feet, they don't have a, what do you call it, the height adjustments. So uh, when you put the keyboard down, it's already kind of low, but good thing and pro slanted the keyboard already. I mean, I don't know what the company's called, but um, they already slanted the keyboard. So unlike traditional keyboards where the sides are actually like pretty straight, this one like, let's see, how do I do this? This one like kind of goes upwards. So yeah, even with no uh, feet on the keyboard, we're still chilling. There's a couple features of this keyboard I really like. Um, first of all, it's the PPD Double Shot keycaps it comes with. Obviously, it comes with these colored ones that I put on. But uh, yeah, I, I said might as well, you know, screw it. I just put on all the, key, the keycaps. Make it a little more colorful instead of the standard black one. I couldn't get my hands on the white keyboard, which is kind of unfortunate, even though the box is a white key, keyboard. But uh, yeah, so. Really nice keycaps, PPT double shot, they're not gonna wear off as easily. Honestly, my ducky ones haven't even, the only like wear and tear is it being dirty from, you know, gaming all day, cause they are white keycaps, but these are black ones and they'll probably keep in shape a lot better. Uh, I got the Gateron brown switches with it due to uh, popular demand. Uh, Cherry, Cherry Mex is like the most mainstream key switches, but in my opinion, the Gaterons are like super sick too. Uh, they are browns. I'm gonna have an ASMR like section following this, but you will hear how they sound. Um, they feel really great. They still got a tactile touch to it. It's just like the blues. They do have um, a little bit of a click to it until, until it like act actually performs the key function, uh, but it's not as clicky, obviously. It's a lot softer. Get the Am Pro too. Um, link in my description to uh, buy it with my affiliate code on Banggood. They ship like within two weeks, and it's really nice. The problem with the Ducky is the Ducky takes like one to two months, depending on stock. I had to wait two months for my keyboard, and I only had to wait like less than two weeks for this one. It's the exact same thing. Not gonna lie. The only difference is Ducky uses the the foreign um what do you call it? the Cherry MX switches, while we the Am Pros use Chinese switches. They do have um, kale switches too, the kale boxes, and then they have the Gaterons. I use the Gaterons. Um, I might get one with the kale box switches soon, like some of the Sobers I really like. But uh, yeah, key claps are great. The response time is great. Uh, I mean, I have nothing, I have no other problem with it. I haven't tried the Bluetooth yet, but that's because I am a firm believer in wire products are better than, or using wires are better than Bluetooth because I've had Bluetooth things disconnect on me during a game and it kind of pisses me off. But wait, Mandu, what how, what do I do about all the keys that are gone? Well, actually, with these two blank keycaps, they're actually function 1 and function 2. A lot of these functions on, if you can see, like there's like little text right underneath the keys. Those are the secondary functions you can use your function keys to activate. Let's say I wanted to uh, change my lighting my backlight so I'll press function 2 and I'll press this I'll change my lighting so yeah I don't really have a preferred uh, lighting mode right now but I'm just gonna use whatever but yeah that's pretty much it I mean you got your arrow keys you can use function arrow keys or you can have a tapping feature where you actually uh, tap uh, these four right here to actually act as um, your arrow keys so you wouldn't be missing out too much you got all your functions, your lighting, you got your uh, your window still, you know, obviously. 
yeah, you got your pretty much all of the stuff you need really on a full size keyboard. The only thing you're missing out is media control keys, which you can actually program and actually use on the AM Pro 2. And you're missing out on a number pad, which I mean, who really uses that unless you're like typing numbers really fast? But no one 100% recommend it. Go use my link in the description to buy a keyboard of your own. Comment down below if you got one or plan on getting one yourself.